Okay, so just quickly, uh, we prepared a, a full style for a political map using natural earth data and the GeoCSS language in GeoServer. Uh, natural earth is a public domain map data set uh, for uh, low scale mapping, uh, which can, you can use as a base map for any low scale uh, endeavor. Uh, it features tightly integrated vector and data, vector data and raster data, and it's free to use. GeoServer CSS, or for short, GeoCSS, is a CSS inspired language for uh, map styling. It's compact, powerful, human readable, and human writable. You can see a few examples. The structure is the same as a, syntactically as a HTML CSS, but it talks about properties that, well, evidently come from SLD. <laughs> all, the, all the properties that you see, see there, the names come from SLD. So we are talking about cartography, not uh, paragraphs, not divs, not uh, a number list. So the, the focus is different. The challenge, we wanted to have a significant, yet not too complicated, base map in CSS for our training package. We already have, and it's linked there, OSM styles, which is a reproduction of, of OpenStreetMap uh, with GeoServer that you can use to generate OpenStreetMap in your local projection with uh, your local restriction and whatever, maybe to run a local GeoServer which is uh, in a sealed environment that doesn't access the, the internet. It was great. The problem is that it was way too complicated. Some of the styles in, CS in OSM styles are 1,000 lines of CSS because, well, OSM is that complicated. And it was not useful for teaching. Uh, how to use CSS. So we wanted to have something simpler, and uh, I wanted to have something that reminded me of the old political atlases that I, I had as a kid uh, printed uh, to, to, to explore. So we took the natural earth uh, data set and we prepared this type of map. I'm going to show you a few examples. Uh, you, you, you can probably see they are reminiscent of a, an old printed uh, political map. And this is the highest zoom level with all the roads and so on. Uh, and one more. So as you can see, it's a large layer group with all the data sets starting from the 110 millions and then the 50 millions and then the 10 millions, selected a number of layers from uh, uh, Natural Earth. The download is easy. You can just take the Natural Earth quick start package, stick it into the GeoServer data directory in a well-known position, and there you go. You have GeoServer running and serving this base map. Um, one example style picked among the many because it has a few interesting bits. If we look at the first stroke, you can see that uh, I'm using named colors such as dark gray rather than a hex color, which is nice. And I'm using a function inspired from less CSS to darken that dark gray another 5%. Uh, the second field that you, the field that you see there, it's uh, coloring the map using seven colors. The um, natural earth uh, country map has uh, a number in a, in a column that guarantees that if you ass assign a different color to each column, uh, to each value, sorry, no two countries will share the same color. Um, and uh, I'm there using a, a, a recode to uh, associate the various colors. Then there is a lightning. And uh, at the bottom, we have uh, a control of the labor priority based on the population of the country so that I'm sure that uh, um, I'm uh, uh, displaying China first and then you know, all of the other countries and not, for example, Republic of San Marino in Italy rather than Italy itself. How about physical map? It's in the works. Uh, it's in a branch. It's basically base, base raster map plus labels. Uh, it's been sitting there for a while, and I'm looking for someone to that would be interested to complete the work and merge it into, um, into the official version of the map. Uh, how can I get it? Uh, this is the link uh, and the link of the physical map version of it. And if you are ready for the strong stuff, then there is also a link for, to the OSM styles, which I'm displaying as the typical web mercator over Bologna, but also as an orthographic projection uh, as you can see, part of the globe being displayed over the same data with the same styles. And that's it. So thank you.